Mega Man. Now, I do you think Crouch is going to be a factor in this matchup? Yes, it will. Crouch Two, versus Pellets. One, also, uh, <laughs> right, yes, so I say that immediately. Go. That's how the game starts out. And just having that low crouch and being with a crawl to stay mobile, you saw right there, he just managed to King Arc overextend him with those pellets, and he got a dash attack at about 54% as a result. Yeah, so Numbers is going to be playing his normal I'm going to play at the ledge game from like Smash 4 days. And it works kind of in this game, not all the time, but um, it's still an effective strategy versus Mega Man. You don't want him to get like up airs and combos on you. Like if you get hit by Mega Man, just take like one hit or two. <laughs> Can we just talk about how clever and cute that was? He specifically like got hit by his own bomb to get him off the ledge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he can also crouch under Metal Blade, which is a, a good thing in this matchup. But Metal Blade can be thrown diagonally down, right? Yeah. And that would hit him. That would definitely hit him. So there is counterplay that Mega Man can have. It's just that it's the sort of things that he normally wouldn't be doing. Yeah, he has to make sure that we fit. Oh. I guess Terrible his jump got so guess, Yeah, his jump just went away at some point. Now, deep breathing. I call this Super Saiyan Wii Fit. This is Kaioken. Kaioken, yeah, because she's glowing red. Yeah, up airs. That's a really good thing in this matchup. That's good to the point where if we see, if we do see a counter pick for uh, King Arc in the next game, uh, maybe you should go to a stage with more platforms. Yeah. Oh, but wow, that up smash. That was so good. He outspaced that move from numbers. And now this is not... We might not see him uh, have to counter pick in game two because this is not an unwinnable position for him. 88% might not be great, but... Whoa. Mega Man's pretty heavy. And he has like ways to end stock super early. <gasps> oh, nice forward air. Up air. I will say, another thing that's... Particularly between these two players, they're off stage game. King King Arc uh, maybe goes off stage more than he should. Mm -hmm. uh, and John Numbers, I guess he's the one who should be off stage, you know. Uh, but that means we are probably going to be seeing quite a few really kooky off stage exchanges uh, within this set. Now, a good thing in this game, Mega Man's forward air now kills, so that's a really good tool to use like as an edge guard. Uh, we fit back air will certainly kill, especially at 120 plus percent like that. Oh, misses the crash bomber on the wall. Oh, numbers. The way he's oh, okay. I was about to say the way he was able to stall was great, but the nice thing about Mega Man is that he can throw out all these hitboxes at the ledge. You oh. saw he covered everything right there, and at, in the end, a uh, missed tech on that forward air cost numbers the lead that he had because now this is absolutely a completely even game. I like the, the Z-drop on a Metal Blade by the ledge. It's really good to stuff out the soccer ball. <gasps> Ooh, a little shenanigans oh, right there. Only King Rook got hit by that. Bit of a surprise. That was weird. He's breathing online again. He is at 99, so he has to be careful. Seems that, well, that is what he's doing right now, at least. This is a more patient uh, version of King Arc than we usually see, just because he knows in a few seconds, deep breathing will be gone and he'll be, if he gets hit, he won't just die. Nice back air by numbers. Deep breathing again. It's at 120. Oh, <gasps> that was so cool. Oh no, but he's... <laughs> Dude, I got go. nervous. Dude, when he went off stage. <laughs> King Arc, think about it. He's like, oh, that was some nice damage with the risk involved. It was just like, <gasps> he gets hit by that soccer ball oh, and that yeah, sun yeah, salutation. Yeah. Wow. Like to focus on your balance. Numbers disadvantage is so good. Mm -hmm. As you saw right there, he was kind of, it felt like King Arc was getting back into the swing of things. And then he just wasn't expecting them. Yeah. The little wee fit forward air. And right there when he did the sun salutation, it was kind of scary at that moment. Because he threw it out. 
and had King Arc air dodge, you've probably been low enough to get the forward air as like a frame trap. Very possibly, especially because he had full momentum, if you noticed. He was going off stage completely, like, by that time he, like, he would, by the time he released that, uh, the Sun Salutation, he was already going to meet where he was. <gasps> no jump! Okay. King Ark so far has not had, like, a silly offstage death, which, to be frank, happens to quite a bit. Almost to be expected. Just, you know, the nature of how he goes for these kooky plays, especially off stage. The occupational hazard of doing that. He sometimes just dies at extremely low percents for very silly reasons. Oh, Crash Bomber hitting only King Arc. I think Numbers had some invincibility on that regular getup. Yeah, no, that was amazing timing from Numbers. Just using the uh, invincibility to help him out. And then also, you know, so he wouldn't get jumped or anything. Yeah. Forward air. Now, if he gets grounded again, that's an instant. I was about to say, if he got grounded again, that's guaranteed F tilt. Oh, nice. Reading the jump, getting a back air. <gasps> yeah, I think King Art got, got a slow down. When uh, getting off, <laughs> use more metal blades off stage instead of putting himself off stage. Because numbers disadvantage is looking really good. Nice, that's guaranteed. Uh, wasn't enough to actually get the kill. Whoa, uh, 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 oh, uh, this is everyone's what? Oh, uh, uh, fine. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that was you know in cartoons when there's like the. Dust cloud and everybody, they just see fists flying out of it. Everything's just happening all at once. Yeah, and then uh, apparently King Art got the kill, but uh, he lost his stock soon after. And that means that this is possibly his winner's stock right here. Does feel like he's playing pretty well this game overall, but. Ooh, that's interesting. So pellets can actually knock the soccer ball back at, back at uh, Wii Fit. I didn't know that. Also notice numbers grab oh, that crouch. Uh, numbers grabbed the uh, the metal blade and just threw in the other direction. He realized that Mega Man is going to be able to use this better than I could, so I'm just going to throw it this way, remove it from the game for that much longer. Oh no! He just did he a... hit him with the. I think he. Let's work on your balance. Uh, that was weird. Then we get a replay on that. Uh, get a bit of a. Uh, Keener eye on the magnifying glass. All right. He used. All right. He bounced on rush, and then he didn't release the leaf shield early enough to recover back. They traded, I think. Yeah. Is that a back air? Was that a forward air or something? I think he wasn't expecting the trade, so he just died. 